Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent and today we got an action-packed episode We've got a lot of things to cover off. I told you I told you that it was gonna be legendary and we got something very 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 exciting things to, to cover off today If you do like the videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get right to it April 30 Why is April 30 so so important? Well, it's the next step in the Ripple versus the SEC case. Now you guys have been following this for a while. You know it's Ripple 4, SEC 0. At the moment, Ripple has absolutely dominated this case. Should have never been a case since December 23. But for those of you who are yet to understand what is going on, you may have found out about Ripple yesterday. You may have found out about XRP a couple of days ago. Your mate may have told you about it. Well, the SEC launched a case against Ripple claiming that Ripple and the XRP token is a security, not a currency. And since December 23, a case has been taking place and so far, Ripple have smashed them. And so the next phase is April 30. And April 30 is going to be really, really important as Ripple brings forward evidence that the SEC have been going against federal laws in trying to attain more information against Ripple. Now, if the judge rules in Ripple's favor, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the moon. Now, before we do that, let's kick off by saying that at the time of making this video, we're sitting at $1.40 right now. Fantastic jump compared to the last couple of days and what we've seen. We hit a top of 146 at the time of making this, and we're currently traveling at about $1.40, but we've seen an upturn in the entire market. Three hundred billion dollars have flown into the cryptocurrency space just in the last 12 hours alone it has been massive so i like what rafael ken did on twitter he's mentioning that xrp has a weekly silver crossing from march to april and a price and a golden crossing is about to happen which means that huge buying pressure is about to kick in as you guys know i've already called it $3.30 by the end of May, a 300% rise from where we are is what I'm predicting. I mentioned this yesterday about what happened back in 2017, what happened now and where we're about to take off. And I think the next couple of weeks are gonna be absolutely legendary. And then if we throw more fire by the SEC case settling, it is going to be huge. So if we look at the charts, XRP versus Bitcoin, obviously when it comes to a bull run, the old coins need to outperform Bitcoin and we've just seen Ripple smash through this particular formation. We knew that it was a bullish formation. We just weren't sure when it was about to happen. So this is a very strong green candle and we can expect now the momentum to really kick off, not just of XRP, but also your other favorite old coins. But of course, for today, we're purely just speaking about XRP. So if we look at the charts, again, we have broken out and we've broken out on a couple of consecutive candles, which means we have confirmed it. We went past that 20 cents pressure point. I did say that if we went past $1.20, consolidated above 120, then it was officially going to be the beginning of the next phase of the bull run. As you can see by here, we pushed above, we consolidated above it, and then we pushed forward again. So we are ready, set, ready to put this thing on absolute turbocharge. So where do we go from here? It's very, very interesting. There's gonna be a couple of scenarios that I'm gonna throw at you. Of course, my prediction, as I mentioned, is that $3.30 by the end of May is most likely gonna be the case scenario that what is going to happen. However, as we begin to move forward and, and begin to really take on the bull run for XRP, $10 is not out of the question. Consolidate to five, which is where I think a lot of people are gonna be wrong here. A lot of you are gonna sell at 10, and then before you know it, a couple of months later, we're gonna be at 26, 27 and beyond. So be careful. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, certainly no financial advice, and of course, $1 to $10, you've 10 extra money, you're more than welcome to take your profits, but just be mindful that if you are in the game of building generational wealth for you and your family, don't be the guy who bought Bitcoin at $100 only to find a $62,000 five years later. Be careful with how much of your profits you sell if you're looking to build generational wealth. So important things about the Ripple case versus the SEC, 10 a.m. New York time, 9 a.m. Chicago time, 7 a.m. Los Angeles time, 
10 o'clock Singaporean time. And then of course here in Australia, you know, we'll go based on the Singaporean time. It is going to be legendary this April 30. It's this Friday, Friday night in Australia, late Friday night in Australia, early morning in New York at 10 a.m. And who knows guys, for you Aussies that follow the serpent, we could be waking up on Saturday. Very, 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 very happy. So 141 at the time I'm making this, as I mentioned, you know, if we look at the charts and we look at 2017, the kind of pumps that happened, there were three particular pumps and those pumps drove XRP all the way to $3.30. If we get a repeat of that, even just the second pump would take us to $14 and beyond. So again, just be mindful of taking profits when we are in such a bull run and so many exciting things about to happen. But of course, go with your gut. And all I'm here to do is just provide you some information. You go away, do your own research, and maybe we both see the same thing. So again, we have started the bull run. We've started our next phase. I think $3.30 is my estimate by the end of May, but we could see a $5.60 before we retrace back to $3.30. But I think we will finish May on $3.30, which compared to some of you that have been with XRP since 2017, since the 17 cents days, it's going to be a very very exciting time indeed so from all angles from whichever charts we look at we have definitely broken out retested and you know we are marching forward now and the next couple of days are going to be very very exciting in the not too distant future as early as may 3 we could see a $2.70 xrp and so before we begin to push for that 330 and break the all-time high i think psychologically Breaking the $2, breaking the $3 is going to be really, really massive in the marketplace. And then as we push forward and beyond, it's going to be really, really exciting. So again, quick recap on today and what are the important dates. April 30 is very important. $5 to $3.30 minimum, $5 by the end of May, I think is certainly absolutely not out of the question. I retrace back to $3.50 before we push forward for 10 20 and above just be mindful of not taking too many profits probably the key message here today but from here we're going to see a very very fast movement it's going to be awesome and some of the things that you can look out for for those of you that are day traders support has been found at a dollar 18 the next level support at a dollar two worst case scenario 80 cents but if you look at this chart for the day traders for the guys that are looking to make quick in and out $1.51 is the next support. If you break 151, hit support at 151 and push forward, you can put in a buy order and ride that all the way to $2.36 before the next target. So as always, a huge thank you to all of you, to all the supporters, to everyone that supports the, um, this particular channel. If you did learn something new today, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe button. Thank you all so, so very much. Look forward to see you on the next one.